Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I've got a <laughs> another bit of a haul. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Um, but this is uh, a haul from a place that I have been wanting to go here locally in my city. Um, I live in Vienna and this is a really, really wonderful place to um, basically get whatever you need. They've got they've got a huge selection of all different brands. Um, a couple of things you'll see here, but they've also got, uh, as far as watercolors are concerned, they've got Sennelier and... Um, what else did I see? I saw the Amsterdam brand for the acrylics. Um, of course, the Daniel Smith they've got, I think, the entire range. Um, and, oh gosh, there's so much. I'm drawing a blank at the moment. Um, oh, what else? Of course, there's the Posca. They've got alcohol inks. They did have a selection of Copics, but um, like they had a few left of the older version of the refills. Um alcohol ink artists will know what I'm talking about. Um, and I, I wasn't looking carefully enough because I went there, um, for these things specifically and not for, for alcohol ink related supplies, but they did have quite a few things. Um, there were a ton of, of different brands. Um, I saw Van Gogh as well for the watercolors and gosh, there was just so much. I'm, I'm literally drawing a blank. It's late at night. I apologize, but um, oh, Winsor & Newton. Yeah, Winsor & Newton. Okay, that's come to me. There's, there's a lot there. Um, if you are local, uh, in Vienna, you can order online. Um, I did end up having to order one item online because they did not have it in stock. The staff is absolutely lovely and yeah, it was a wonderful experience. I just, um, wanted to share some of the things I picked up. I mainly went there for watercolors because I had a, um, a list of colors that I wanted so I'll go through those with you and I'll show you some swatches I did um, a couple of practical things I picked up these um, what are they the bulldog clips for holding open your uh, your books your sketchbooks and whatnot when you're working uh, speaking of sketchbooks I did uh, pick up the Han Moon uh, watercolor book they had um, few different sizes I think there was an A4 I didn't open this completely I just took off the the plastic wrap but just to kind of show you so this is the A5 and it's got 30 sheets but double-sided and I thought it was a nice size I don't have one in A4 I have either those slimmer ones those smaller Arteza ones and I think that's it there was one by Strathmore that I wanted and it was I think it was um Pretty sure it was an A4 and it was a, a really beautiful bound one so I wanted to try that. I picked up another little fan brush here because I have one that's a bit more dense and I wanted something that was a bit lighter so try that out and see how that goes. Just a couple of Posca pens there was a big selection um, various different nib sizes so that was lovely. I got a beige this time as opposed to white which I normally get um, and I just picked up another gold. I picked up another a acrylic ink, the Amsterdam brand. I don't recall if I saw that they had the Dollar Rowney. I'm fairly certain they did have the brand, but I don't know if I saw the white because I asked one of the people there to help and they got me this. So there's that. Um, before I get <laughs> into the watercolors, I'll just show you uh, just a pad of Canson A4 with 30 sheets. Um, I'll probably end up cutting these in half or, or I don't know, maybe using the whole thing because I'm not used to using larger sizes. And yeah, on that note, this thing here, um, this monster <laughs> was really pricey and crazy. I have not even opened it yet because you need to open it from, well, I'll show you. Um, in there and yeah there's the paper uh it's gorgeous gorgeous paper as you can see i am um nervous about using it <laughs> but i will try it i'll probably cut down a sheet and see how um see how it works because i'm i haven't 
tried this kind before. I'm not quite sure how it responds to watercolor and whatnot. So, um, yeah, we'll we'll definitely try that out, and I'll let you know how it goes. Um, now I did go there for these. I did pick up nine in total, and I did swatch them here just so you can see. I just think this is such a gorgeous, earthy palette. I feel like it's just perfect for going into um, the autumn season, which um, is my favorite. Um, and I am looking forward to cooler weather. So yeah, these are just really, really stunning. Um, so there's the naphthalide maroon, which is first one right here which is a really beautiful beautiful rich color it's a very deep maroon and it's gorgeous um trying i'm gonna try and do these in order but hmm, let's see how that goes <laughs> um where are we oh this maroon was amazing the perline maroon was also really beautiful this one they're all 15 mil i know you can get some in five mil but I actually I didn't see them there so I I did see the option online but there's transparent red oxide there's another gorgeous gorgeous earthy color of course I have more on my list because oh my goodness this one I was very very excited for duochrome autumn mystery I don't know if the camera is going to pick up that shimmer but it is so beautiful I'm really looking forward to mixing that in with some of these and seeing what happens you know all the effects but yeah that's the duochrome autumn mystery absolutely stunning um another beautiful one is the quinacridone deep gold it's a very rich rich color it concentrated it's quite dark but it really you know as you add water it does get lighter and lighter and it's just it maintains its richness though it's very beautiful this is a really interesting one the moon glow so Again, I don't know how much you're seeing, but there are different sort of colors that make that up. There are a few different shades that are playing in there. It's another really beautiful one. So, and again, sheared out is absolutely stunning as well. Um, these blues and blue greens, a couple of them are the uh, Prim Primatech, and I know that that is um according to the website that is used with some of the actual minerals from said gemstone or, or stone so um this is a mayan blue genuine very beautiful and amazonite genuine and these ones uh, were more expensive than the others because of the Prima Tech line. So, um, and Cascade Green, which is a gorgeous green, which you can see sort of the different nuances of other shades that are in there. But yeah, so that's that's the stuff that I just wanted to share because it's a lot. And um, I finally managed to go today, and um, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. So. I thought I would share that. I'm sure you'll be seeing these on social media, on Instagram. I'm not uploading as much as I, or posting, I should say, as much as I should, I suppose. But um, hopefully uh, as I get into these new colors, and of course um, I do have another couple of smaller palettes that I showed in a very short video. I think that will be before this one, but anyways. I'll do a swatching video on that and share that as well, or those, I should say, there's two of them. <laughs> so um, that's it for now. I just wanted to share all of this um, and get into it and play and, and see how they all work. And I look forward to sharing uh, more with you soon. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're all doing really well and staying healthy and safe. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.